The Salford Red Devil 6, Wigan Warriors 26. How Salford must hate it every time Wigan come up on their fixture list because they've just got a terrible record against them, haven't they? Let's be absolutely honest about that. The Cherry and Whites were in good form, especially in the second half. Matt Peets, 50th game in charge for the Wigan Warriors. 100 up now for Morgan Smithies as well. Smithies doing what Smithies does so well. 41 tackles. He's so good in defence. Always a willing worker is Morgan Smithies. It started as a right tussle the first 20 minutes or so. It was ebbing and flowing before Joe Shorrocks got the game under away with the opening try. Harry Smith again missing though with the conversion. It was four points to nil at that stage. And then Ben Halliwell came flying back for the Salford Red Devils. A well-taken try on the right edge. And Salford, of course, with Mark Sneed at the kick-in T. Go ahead, six points to four. And then came five minutes just before half-time that really did start to put the advantage towards the Wigan Warriors. First and foremost, Ryan Briley going off an accidental collision uh, forced him off and he failed his HIA. That's going to be concerning for Paul Rowley for next week, of course. And, uh, you know, three or four minutes later, in goes Liam Fowler for his first of two tries. 114 tries now after this brace for Liam Fowler in the colours of the Wigan Warriors. A great pro, isn't he? A fantastic Fantastic player, 113 metres in this one. Two tackle bus, one clean break as well. Farrell, pretty much man of the match on the day. Really solid from the captain. And then straight after half time, in went Abbas Miski. And at that point, uh, there was really looked like there was no way back for Salford. And, you know, Wigan pressed home uh, to a very comfortable, in the end, 26 points to six win. And such is the madness of our league this season. They went from sixth to third. It's incredible, isn't it? A couple of weeks ago, it was roles, roles reversed for Wigan. They went the other way. It was after the Catalan game, and now they find themselves back on the podium in third place, just behind the Warrington Wolves. As for Salford, they'll be a bit concerned down to fifth now. Of course, Saints have a game in hand, and their points difference is a little bit inferior to the teams around them, including Hull KR, who sit seventh. Of course, though, Salford will be buoyed by the fact that they go up against Wakefield Trinity next week, at uh, the uh, Sewell Group, um, the B-Well, sorry, the B-Well Support Stadium. Why am I going to OKR? Uh, yeah, the B-Well Support Stadium, of course, in Wakefield, before then taking on two home fixtures, one, to, one against Leeds and then one against the Lee Leopard. So two really tricky, well, not three probably are tricky fixtures, to be fair. And then we'll have to do the next one without Ryan Briley. As for Wigan, well, they'll be delighted, of course, back up uh, in the top three now. Uh, next up for them will be the Huddersfield Giants at home. You can't see anything but a Wigan winning that, especially off the back of what was a calamity, wasn't it, against the Leeds Rhinos for the Huddersfield Giants. That said, you'd expect some sort of reaction. If there isn't a reaction, then uh, perhaps this will be the final game for Ian Watson. A lot of rumours swirling around uh, the John Smith Stadium, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Then they go off to Wakefield away. Of course, they lost in that fixture last year before going to the Halliwell Jones Stadium to take on the Warrington Wolves. And Warrington at the moment, another team who lost a lot of troops as of late. Wigan doing what Wigan do. We, we do not expect Wigan to be anywhere but in the playoffs come the end of the season. How high up they get, well, that's a big question mark. At the moment, you'd have to say Catalan are looking favourites for the League Leaders' Shield at this point, but there's plenty of rugby league still to play. Congratulations to Liam Marshall, another length of the field try for him in this one. That's 13 up for the season. The eighth try, of course, for Abbas Miski in this one. And like we've already said, two for Liam Fowl, taking him to 114 in his Wigan Warriors career. Not really much, really, to write home about from the Salford Red Devils in this one. Wigan doing what Matt Pete said at the end of the game was a professional performance to make sure they got over the line. They'll be feeling a lot better at the end of round 16 as they look forward to their next task against Huddersfield at home. That brings in the Sheds for round number 16 to a close. We hope you've enjoyed uh, all of the after-game thoughts that we provided to you over this weekend. And we look forward to coming back for round 17 in the Sheds, which is sure to be on Facebook and YouTube on Friday after the live game of Warrington Wolves against Leeds Rhinos at Halliwell Jones Stadium. Make sure you tell all your friends about us. Please comment, subscribe and share. We'd love to know what your thoughts were on this game. The Salford Red Devils 6, Wigan Warriors 26, the Pies are all of a sudden getting a bit more about them. We'll see you next time. All the best.